Oh, hey everyone, we're here at the first annual Long Island uh, Fig Festival, and I'm here with Doug. And Doug is a longtime member now, kind of a longtime member, I guess as long as I am. He's been on ourfigs.com, and it's a really great community, and that's kind of what this gathering is about, is our community coming together. and. Uh, it's here in the Northeast, this this gathering. But Doug is from he's from California, and he took a, he took a flight yesterday, and he arrived here yesterday, and now he's here in the Northeast uh, for the gathering. So you could tell that uh, Doug and our community really loves figs, and we're a really great community, I guess you could say. Doug was actually very nice, uh, and he lives in California, like like we said. So he has access to way more figs than someone in the Northeast has at this current time of the year. And he was very nice to bring over tons and tons of figs. I mean, freeze dried. Uh, there's actually a kind of a thermalito here, so fresh figs as well. And I mean, there's just so many. There's so many figs he brought. Uh, he really made the event with the, the tastings that we did. Yeah. What would you say to everyone's... Is there a clear favorite? I, I don't know, a lot of people yeah. like the Thermalito. Between that, the, uh, the Red Lebanese, the Kandali yeah. version, uh, anything that was uh, really concentrated in the flavors. Yeah. Again, with California 7% community, right. uh, we don't see a drop of rain from the end of February until the first of November, so all those flavors really get concentrated. I think it's the, the heat and it's the lack of humidity that Just they prevents them from splitting. And But again, these are all capified. The wasp there is only found in a few places in the world, and we're blessed to uh, to be one of its uh, domiciles. Right. Again, so uh, these are all uh, capified or pollinated. Um, changes their nature 100%, uh, 180. But, you know, even though they change the nature of the fig, doesn't mean that someone in the Northeast shouldn't grow figs. Exactly. And that's what I... What I've been able to, uh, to really concentrate on is trying to find those that are too well for me, but are really early, and to be able to get them out to other areas that allow them to harvest you know, without the eight months of uh, summer that we enjoy there. So uh, again, the, uh, the Red Lebanese, uh, the I-39, uh, these are all things that I've already been harvesting for over a month, so anyone without a long season can still grow them and produce. So Doug, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got into growing figs and growing your own food. Uh, I'm real into being a Boy Scout, being prepared, and uh, so I have a lot of food put away in case something ever happens and you'll be self-sufficient. So I thought it, I'd have uh, a little bit of living food storage, so I uh, picked up a lot of fruit trees as I got into the uh, Triple Crown blackberries. Mm -hmm. uh, persimmons, pomegranates, and I thought uh, figs, here's some uh, product that would, would be wonderful now to, uh, to be prepared. So I picked up four different varieties just from my local Home Depot, put them in the ground, and at the end of the first year, it was like, wow, these are kind of bland. Yeah. So hit the old uh, interweb and <laughs> just try to find, are there any, any better, you know, figs out there? Yeah. Little did I know, there's 3,300 yeah. you know, named varieties of figs. Yeah. I was just blown away. So, and again, being so new in it, didn't realize first-year trees aren't expected to really perform up to their potential. Uh -huh. So, started uh, uh, contacting people that had been in the know, been doing it for a while, picked up all these different varieties, and wow, there are some incredible, incredible varieties out yeah. there. Yeah, so, I agree. That's awesome. All right, so we got it. We got it. You're telling me, you said this earlier in the video, that if you were to put this fig in water... But within 20 minutes or so, it's reconstituted. You would never guess that it was ever free So, 21st century. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, Doug, I want to thank you for your interview and your time. It's what I live for. Uh, it's been a pleasure that you brought all these figs. He came all the way from California. I mean, it's just unbelievable. So, Doug, thank you. It's been worth it. <laughs>